Black on this week's show. We've got blah, 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 blah. And then run the the, what? the music. Yeah. I don't I don't usually do music. I made a... You, no, no, no. Oh, oh the, Jay the, Sing. Jay yeah. Sing. Yeah, I, made a, I made a crazy discovery. Do you know where the music is from? Who? The music for our Disney Parks podcast intro. It was uh, all stuff I gave Jay. Yeah. It's Pinocchio. Yeah. Because I started watching Pinocchio this weekend. Yeah. It came on, and I was like, it's the Disney Parks... I, I literally was going... You're, this is the Disney Parks podcast yeah. with Park Up. I'm like, yeah. holy crap, our music came from Pinocchio. Yeah. I'm such a nerd. We were trying to find stuff that wouldn't get us in a lot of trouble. Ah, that was great. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, let me hit the, the good baton here. We're baton, and we're live. Yeah, we got some peeps out there. I already got peeps. Peeps in the hood. Our peeps are strong, so they're hearing all about our, where our music came from. <laughs> Gary Clavenger. Woo, Gary. Gary the Clavenger. Good to see you, Gary. Yeah, long time to see. Well, I hope you hope he's doing okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Chris is there. Who? From uh, behind the ears. Behind the ears. Right behind the ears. Yeah. Chris. Salta. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris and Danny. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I can't see Chris. Why can I not see Chris? Oh, he just popped up here. Just popped up. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Marcel, Greetings. Yeah. Uh, Marcel, dude, that Infinity War trailer, I cried during the Infinity War trailer. Right. So let's talk about that for one quick second. Yes, let's. I heard there were 60 Marvel characters in that movie. Yeah, easily. Holy mackerel. Well, let's stop and think about it. You've got... going to need like a scorecard well, at the end of the got, movie. You've got Cap, you've got Cap, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor... Black, uh, uh, what's your face? Widow. Mm -hmm. Black Panther. You're not going to mention all six of them. Guardians of the Galaxy. You've got all the main. You got all the main ones. That's like right. 15 people right there. Yeah. Plus, not well, to you mention have the Avengers. Right. Plus, you've got all the yeah. ancillary characters. Right. Plus, everybody that pretty much says anything is a Marvel character from the comic books. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's pretty easy to have 60 characters. Not to mention Thanos and Thanos is thug and, you know. Right. Generic Cree this and generic whatever that scroll that. Yeah, Gary says uh, talk DVC, talk pay, uh, paid parking. Let's increase my blood pressure. Oh man, you missed the. <laughs> yeah, we just got done talking about paid parking. Yeah, we're it, gonna, it, we're we're gonna do a whole show that'll be out uh, uh, next Monday. We'll, yeah. we're, we're gonna rant and rave about uh, parking. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know what the what the DVC. What's the DVC thing? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't keep track of DVC because I'm not one, Gary. I'm sorry. So anyway, Marcel. The uh, Infinity War trailer, the scene where Thanos comes down and Cap catches it, and that scene with Captain America, oh my God, I was losing my mind. I said, I can't say too much because Tony never watches trailers. Uh, it's going to be a, a mega, mega awesome event. It's going to be epic. Epic. It's going to be... Oh. Epic. <laughs> Thanos comes out, and then all of a sudden you hear. <laughs> no one is thinking over the galaxy, but me. And then the lightsaber comes on. That'd be awesome. Anyway, sorry. We need to get going with the show. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you ready? I'm ready. All righty. Well, hey, everybody. On this week's show, we have Disney news from Hong Kong, Summer Carnival, Disney style at Disney Springs, Disneyland after dark, Star Wars events, headline news, meetups, and so much more, all on this week's Disney Parks podcast. <laughs> well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Uh, very glad that you are here. We've got a lot of news, a lot of crazy oh, yeah. stuff going on this week. Yeah. How, how's your blood pressure, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I think the show's going to go long because I also, well, we should maybe stay a little bit extra. And yeah, yeah, we can have a little chit chat with could, everybody. We could chit chat. Yeah, so if you're willing to stay past uh, the news, uh, we'll stay uh, and chit chat yeah. with everybody. We'll, we'll chit chat because we're doing a we're doing a live. Uh, we do a live show every Monday night uh, that we do a recording, which is pretty much every Monday night at eight right. p.m. Uh, 
Eastern time, Eastern daylight time, Florida time now, apparently. Right. Uh, so we have that, and uh, a lot of times, like if we don't have an interview, which we don't have tonight, we uh, we keep the lines open for chat. So if you're in the chat room right now, uh, get your questions ready, and we'll try to uh, uh, to uh, to get to them as soon as we can. So what cool Disney stuff did you do this weekend? Well, let's see. Wednesday, I was at the California Grill. Or this, the CA Grill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had a dinner with a college uh, friend of mine that I see every other year. Now they, he's a DVC owner. Uh, I will tell you, that restaurant at 7.30 was completely full. There was not an empty seat to be found in that restaurant. None at the bar, none in the lounge area, and none in the restaurant. Wow. Full. Full But up. here's the thing I don't get. There are like four seats in front of the sushi making people. You mentioned that. And nobody ever sits there. They have nobody sits They have the knives, forks, plate, napkin, but I've never seen anybody sitting there. Those are Mr. Iger's seats. Uh, so no one sits there but Mr. Iger. If somebody could tell me how I can get that seat, I, I may have to ask one of the managers, Michael, uh, how, how do I sit here? <laughs> well, I you don't know. know. Maybe the maybe they consider that a chef's table. I don't know. Maybe you probably so, have to pay extra yeah. for that. Uh, so it was good. It was a little windy, so we didn't go out for the fireworks. Kind of just watched them from the <laughs> restaurant <laughs> inside. Pew, pew. Um, and then uh, last night, Sunday night, I was at uh, my favorite place on planet Earth. Um, <laughs> that would be Ravello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I, I I gave you the clean version. <laughs> I uh, so this if you've never been there, you have to go there. <laughs> You're just now picking that up. That, yeah, yeah. If you've never listened to the show, no. you've never <laughs> heard anything about Ravello. No. Trust me, you gotta go. go. Yeah. Listen, if you you can escape under nominal conditions with just some pizza, you can sit at the bar. But you're not gonna want to. You're gonna you, want. No. You're gonna want some pasta uh, well, that melts it. on your face. I mean, on, <coughs> pasta that melts on your tongue. Yeah. I mean, really, right. seriously, God, you're gonna want. All right, so maybe pasta. some meatballs and pasta. Oh my God, the uh, and pizza. Yeah. Oh, Chef Fabrizio. <laughs> I'm not that way, but if I was, <laughs> he and um, I would be on speaking terms. Yeah. So they got a new spring menu coming out. It's nice. probably not gonna happen until after spring break, but uh, they'll have a new uh, spring menu out. Probably be spring and summer. Um, so stay tuned for that. Excellent. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, no. What did uh, you do? You know what I did? Uh, I did uh, nothing Disney. Uh, that's not true. I watched Pinocchio on Saturday. Oh. Uh, we had our, we were, uh, I don't know, we were cleaning the house and stuff, and I think we had the TV on free form. Mm. And uh, we were watching, I can't remember what started it, but then Pinocchio came on, and we're like, oh, we're going to watch Pinocchio. Mm. That's about it. Wow. Was it good? Busy weekend. Ah, well, you know, it was sad, but it ended well. I'm a real boy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I watched I, Tanya. I don't think that was a Disney movie. Though. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, no, that's about it. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. about it. I didn't, didn't do anything. I'm a horrible <clears throat> Disney person. I didn't do very much this weekend. Wanted to. Mm. Um, we had some plans, but we really just uh, we just ran errands just. We've been so busy. Sid's been yeah. so busy at work, and I've been busy. It just when we get like a day, Saturday's really our only day mm. to be together for a full twenty four hours. So we're pretty stingy. Mm. Uh, we had friends that were in. Oh, that's right. Uh, we just we couldn't break away. And Saturday, um, we were lying. We were keeping close because she was thinking that she was going to get called in. Oh. And uh, well, it's good night. You should have. Went far away. I said, well, now I can't. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm all the way over in Tampa. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. It doesn't work that way. I felt horrible because <laughs> I really want to see you. It's our, it's our buddy uh, Dominic. Mm. Dominic Baizano. So, mm. yeah, we missed him. But other than that, right. that's it. So uh, that's all of our weekend stuff. Um, I guess we just need to get into <gasps> the, the news. news. We're getting better at that. Yeah. Uh, Hong Kong Disneyland Resort debuts the Carnival of Stars, 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 yeah. extended season program that spans spring and summer. 
Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Hong Kong Disneyland Resort has launched its first ever Carnival of Stars, uh, bringing on a rich lineup of excitement throughout the spring and summer. The extended season starts uh, with springtime celebrations that will last until June 20th, with a host of beloved Disney friends filling every day and night with Disney magic. Uh, a brand new spectacular offering includes the We Love Mickey projection show, the African style Karabuni Marketplace, and the atmosphere stage show Moana, a homecoming celebration. Uh, ensure guests enjoy an extraordinary Disney carnival starting from the new season of the year. That nice. sounds cool. Yeah. It's kind of neat. Um, uh, you know, there, there's a there, lot of interesting things happening uh, in our parks overseas these days. There's a lot of things happening in a lot of places. Yeah. Except Walt Disney World. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're, they're keeping the purse strings tight here. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. But, you know, as soon as that is that kick uh, parking kicks in on the 21st Yeah, of, maybe we'll of get March, something. Maybe we'll get a parade. Well, you know. Hey, we can afford that parade now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can just see the video. Hi, everybody. My name is Robert Bob Tappen. Iger. No, they haven't come from Bob. My name is Robert Iger. I'm the chairman and CEO of Walt Disney Company. The reason that we've increased the parking for the resort guests is because we want to bring you the best in entertainment. Right. Sure, sure. I could have taken a, a couple hundred million dollar less bonus last year, but I wanted to pass that along to you. So come to Walt Disney World. Come often and make sure you drive. Because we all want paint the night for the west or east coast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Somebody at Disney is like, call up those guys, have have a hit crew. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm going to get home tonight. And I'm going to hear. <laughs> you think you're funny, Mister Donahue? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. All right, so uh, Disney is going to give you a place to leave some of your money and arrive in style. Hey! They got a new place opening up. It's called Disney Style. Uh, so this May, a new shop called Disney Style will join Disney Springs over on the west side. I believe this is going in uh, in the old Harley Davidson store. Really? Yes. Well, yeah. we knew it had to be something. Right. Uh, as the destination for fresh and stylish apparel and accessories inspired by beloved attractions at Disney parks and timeless Disney characters. Okay. Products that will be found at Disney Style opening at Disney Springs in May of 2018. The products that will be found... Uh, yeah, I don't know where yeah. that came from. <laughs> uh, so there'll be modern Disney fashionistas will find curated assortments of fashion-forward products at Disney Style. From sprint jerseys with nods to Disney princesses to playful headwear with a Disney twist, guests can easily create stylish outfits perfect for visiting Disney parks by mixing and matching fun shirts with accessories such as handbags, headbands, hats, socks, and more. So I don't think this will be it's not a guy's men's location. store. Yeah, no, we're basically getting uh, D. Uh, what's it called? D. Uh, uh, D uh, the relics? No, what's the place? <laughs> Trendy. It's Trendy uh, West Side. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what it yeah. is. Yeah, this location will be found adjacent to uh, Star Wars Galactic Outpost, like we said down there. Uh, Disney style will complement an already stellar lineup of Disney themed merchandise locations. At Disney Springs. I wouldn't really <laughs> For call women. It, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I, that came out. I wouldn't really call it stellar. Uh, yeah. Intriguing, maybe. Stellar, no. I We talked about this when <laughs> we talked about this when they closed that location. We talk about this every the time they closed the location. <laughs> the one thing that both you and I agreed that we didn't want there was, and not that we're being sexist, another shop for women. Yeah. Because there's plenty of those. Yeah. You know, they have unisex stores, sure. Right. But they've got Tommy Bahama. Yeah, but half of Tommy Bahama's for women anyway. But but there's there's no guy centric Disney wear. Yeah. If somebody at Disney who knows anything about merchandise can run a report and tell me Disney women's fashion skews, 
versus Disney men's fashion skews. Right. I would think the percentage is like 80% women and 5% men. And then maybe a little sliver of kids in there. <laughs> Robin in the chat room. The future's female. Yeah, yeah. we know. Yeah. yeah. But, but you want, you want all the men na- naked? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Because without my Disney shirts, there's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. No comment. <laughs> so. Ugh. All right. Uh, this weekend, this Saturday, is our meetup at Pool Bar and Grill at the Four Seasons. Yay, yay. Uh, if you are coming by Wednesday, send me an email to DisneyParksPodcast at gmail.com uh, for headcount. If you don't tell us by Wednesday, uh, you may not get a seat and you may not get uh, some smoked coffee. Unless you've already let us know on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. The people already, on Facebook have yeah. already reached out to. Those people do not. Uh, anybody else that is thinking about coming who is not RSVP or not moved your switch into the going column, right. um, then please tell us by Wednesday so we get a good final head count. Uh, then on April 21st, we are going to The Void over at Disney Springs, uh, which is the virtual reality experience. We're going to meet at 2. Uh, then we're going to, John and I are going to, I don't know, battle some galactic heroes beep, 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 at like 3 ish. Uh, I th- There's a theme. <laughs> uh, so if you want to join us, you can go to thevoid.com and get your own ticket. It's twenty nine ninety five, uh, and you know maybe we could do battle together or, or against each other. Yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Uh, I don't know who else is going, but so just to be clear, we had said this last week. You have to get your own ticket for the void right. at thevoid.com or whatever they're calling that. If you want to do that, yes. We're not we're not doing tickets. We're literally just hanging out and meeting. Yeah. And we'll probably go hang out somewhere, but yeah. we're just meeting up at two, and then we're going to go hang out somewhere. Yeah. So that's that's the dealio. Yeah, I've heard uh, it's very in your face reality. Yeah, yeah, VR. Yeah, it's yeah, it's Octila, Octilus Riff at over sixty frames a second. I'm going to kill me some stormtroopers. Yeah, I mean visually we see it sixty and it's over that. So. Right. It's pretty in-your-face stuff. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, uh, May 26th, we are going to the Baseline Tap House. We'll meet up there around 7 p.m. And uh, as long as the schedule kind of stays the same, the Star Wars uh, Galactic Spectacular is around 9. So mm. we can meet up for about an hour and a half or so and then maybe kind of make our way over to uh, maybe catch the fireworks show. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. So join us for that. You will need a theme park ticket to get in the park. Yes. Please don't tell them at the gate that Disney Parks Park has sent you. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you probably won't get in. <laughs> you won't get in. They'll direct you to guest You may services. be meeting an Orange County Sheriff. No, no, no. You go to guest services yeah. first. Uh, so we're still looking for uh, some bloggers, photographers, and videographers to kind of help us with some news and stuff that we want to do for the blog and the podcast. Uh, some of you have sent in information. Just know that we got it, yes, and that we'll get you to to you we're kind of compiling a plan or i'm kind of compiling a plan in my head um so just hang on tight but if you do want to join disney parks podcast at gmail.com uh don't forget you can listen to us on your amazon echo your dot and your google home just say the magic words disney parks podcast there you go yeah uh make sure you visit us at disneyparkspodcast.com slash shop uh, and check out the Disney Parks uh, podcast store. We've got some cool stuff there. Working on uh, working on new designs all the time. Uh, I'll save that for later. I got a little nugget, but I'll I'll share that later. Uh, did you guys know that Tony's a published author? No, he's published in everything. Tony's got a book called huh. Disney by the Numbers. Say it ain't so. Uh, you can go to DisneyByTheNumbers dot com and click on his shop, and you can purchase a copy for your very own self. Now you can go to Amazon and pick up a copy, but you don't get a signed copy like you do when you get buy it from DisneyByTheNumbers dot com. Tony will sign it, he'll number it, you'll go in his special list of uh, books. Everybody that bought a book from Tony has uh, has a numbered copy. I've got mine. I think my number's like seven. Wow. Because I thought I was more special, but apparently I'm number seven on his list. Uh, so I'm like the uh, uh, I'm like the uh, administrator of the interior when it comes to the government. I'm number seven on the presidential scale. You're the designated survivor. I'm the designated survivor uh, on every third third Thursday of the month. Uh, I have a book 
uh, called The Disney Bucket List. You can find that over at WDW you, Park you Hoppers. You said that right. I know, because I, I co-wrote it. Uh, uh, WDWParkHoppers.com. Uh, you can click on the little book icons right up in the little tippy top. You can get a copy of that. I'll sign it and send it to you. Uh, you can also buy mine on Amazon, but come on. Oof, that's no fun. Uh, make sure you rate us and review us on whatever podcast catcher you're listening to. That helps us out big times, especially on iTunes and Google Play. Uh, we've done a lot of work to try to get all our RSS and everything cleaned up. So we're no longer selling, uh, stuff that's not yeah. even on the repeatable list. Right. Uh, and then finally, if you've got a comment, a question, a story, or maybe you just want to say hello, give us a buzz at 407-413-9010. That's the Disney Parks Podcast hotline number. Anything else? No. Sweet Disneyland After Dark event series continues May 3rd with, well, it has to be Star Wars. Cause May I would 4th, think so. Uh, get ready to ring in May the 4th at Star Wars Night, the second After Hours event at the new Disneyland After Dark series. On the evening of May 3rd, guests at this celebration of all things from the galaxy far, far away will be the first to experience the new March of the First Order uh, new to them, or is it new to new to them, or is it the same thing we've been having here? I think it's the same thing we've been having. Uh, you can also meet Ray at the Star Wars launch bay and to celebrate the return of Hyperspace Mountain. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, come dressed as your favorite Star Wars attire for this one night only event, but don't wear a mask. That's against the rules. Oh yeah. Uh, this event will feature exclusive after hours access to Disneyland Park with mix in access. Uh, beginning at 6 p.m., meaning uh, the park will close, what, 7? But you can get in at Party. 6 with this ticket. Yep. Uh, special entertainment, including character encounters, uh, themed decor and immersive Star Wars-themed photo opportunities, commemorative lanyard, event credential, and complimentary photo pass photos during the event, which is worth its weight in gold right there. Yeah. First opportunity to purchase limited May the 4th merchandise, because you got to buy stuff. And a limited quantity of tickets will be available. So be sure to visit Disneyland.com for pricing and details. Mark these dates on your calendar. March 27th, tickets on sale for the Disneyland Resort annual pass holders. March 29th, tickets go on sale for the general public. So if you're a Disneyland pass holder, get on the stick on the 27th and get your tickets. Uh, get ready to jump into hyperspace with Star Wars Night, part of Disneyland After Dark. Only on May 3rd plus. Stay tuned for additional event updates, including elements from Solo, a Star Wars story. <laughs> Bombing in theaters May 25th. I mean, coming to theaters. I always want to say, like, Red Solo. Red Solo, Solo Cup. Cup. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a this, Star Wars story. This movie, I think, is going to everybody's be... Everybody's talking about it tanking. Yeah, everybody's talking about how bad it's going to be. What yeah. do you guys think in the chat room? Yeah. Uh, no, you did not miss the parking talk. We haven't talked about it yet. Parking? Coming. I'm parked. Yeah, they're talking about the parking. Everyone yeah. wants to talk about the parking. Yeah, we'll do that later. We're teasing you with it. It's gonna. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, it's just like when you watch uh, WWE. You leave <laughs> the main event at the last second of the show. <laughs> That's how it works. Yep. Hey, so last week we had a trivia question. What is the name of the Blizzard Beach mascot at Walt Disney World? Uh, uh, Mr. Snowgato. No. How about Ice Gator? Nope. That's not it. Yeah, that that's it. That's it? That's it. Ice Gator. What a horrible name. Yeah. So uh, Dave is the winner, and uh, Dave, since you sent your uh, email and your address, uh, it will be in the mail. Did you Do you know the Ice Gator theme song? No. Ice, ice skater. Oh, gosh. Ice, ice skater. <laughs> All right, I think this might be a tough question, but it's probably Googleable, if that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> How did Walt's brother Roy, not Roy E, but Walt's Roy, brother, uh, brother Roy O, right, propose to his wife Edna? Poorly. <laughs> Nervously. It's a very interesting answer. Yeah. So if you know the answer, uh, send that to Disney Parks Podcast at gmail.com. 
I found out the answer to this question by listening to one of Walt's stories. Oh, really? One of the books. <laughs> and I, I was listening to it on audio. I literally almost wrecked the car. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he did what? Yeah. If you get a chance to listen to uh, today's podcast, uh, it's the executive director of the Disney Family Museum. Yeah. 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 And uh, I think we have to go there. Yep. Okay. You want me to do this? Yeah, All sure. right, everybody. Uh, if you love the show, if you appreciate what we do here and you want to help us keep the show on the air and free, primarily, uh, visit patreon.com slash Disney Parks Podcast. Uh, we want to uh, encourage you guys to sign up for that uh, because not only do you get some great rewards uh, for whatever tier that you sign up for, but you also get ad-free shows, and who doesn't love ad-free content? Plus, we also do exclusive content just for you guys, and then every Monday night, before we do the live show, we do a show just for our Patreons. So at 7 p.m., we do a show in our private Facebook group that you also get access to. So you get private Facebook group. You guys can hang out and chat and do all sorts of fun stuff there. Plus, we do a live show every Monday night, plus all the extra benefits. Why wouldn't you sign up to be a Disney Parks Podcast Patreon? So go to Disney Parks uh, excuse me, patreon.com slash Disney Parks Podcast. And you can be one of the cool kids like our good friends, James, Christy, Grant, Ernie, Stacy, David, Jennifer, Ross, Ron, Jeremy, Willie, Michael, Cassandra, Katie, Eva, and other Katie. Wow. Thank you, guys. That's a lot of uh, Katie's. That's a lot of Katie. What's so crazy about? What's so maybe about? What's so maybe about? Okay, you don't listen to Bare Naked Ladies, do you? Right. <sighs> Hell no. He's got to listen to more Bare Naked Ladies. No. <laughs> okay, uh, Easter's right around the corner. Ding, ding. Yep. Spring is right around the corner. It's tomorrow, yep. and it's going to snow in most bunny, of the bunny northeast. Tails, yeah. Bunny tails are in the air. So special character greetings hop to the Magic Kingdom. Have you been to the Magic Kingdom for Easter? No. Uh, yes, yes, I yeah. have. Not on Easter. Oh, no. Because I was always working. But I've oh. been there around the Easter holidays. Oh. I've seen Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. No, but you haven't seen, like, the whole Easter parade? Mm-mm. Oh. I you work on Sundays. That's yeah, kind of fun. I always work on Sundays. Yeah. If, if you are in the Magic Kingdom or in the area, <coughs> I highly suggest that you do it. It's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a whole big Easter parade and all the ladies with their umbrellas are in different colors. Mm. It's, it's quite fun to see. Nice. So guests visiting the Magic Kingdom are in for some... Hippity hoppity fun <laughs> starting March 19th. See what they did there? That's almost as good as bippity boppity fun. Yeah. Uh, when the Easter Bunny will begin making appearances at the park, uh, the Easter Bunny will greet guests from March 19th to April 1st in Town Square Courtyard. That's over by the uh, guest services. On March 31st, April 1st, and Easter Sunday, a special pre parade will make its way down Main Street, USA. That will feature Mr. and Mrs. Bunny, Daisy Duck, Thumper, and Mrs. Bunny White. Now, I don't know how the ducks got involved in the bunny thing. You just got to watch <laughs> Daisy, man. She's got issues. <laughs> uh, along with the White Rabbit, uh, Rabbit, Claire Cluck, Hippos, Ostriches, Dancing Chicks, uh, and the Azalea Trail maids from Mobile, Alabama. What? No Br'er Rabbit? I guess not. Mm-hmm. All entertainment is subject to change without notice. Check the sound guide for that on the My Disney Experience app and visit on your most update. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like terms and conditions may apply. <laughs> <laughs> I love Disney and their legalese. <laughs> oh, that's nothing compared to the nomenclature. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, I really do. I, I I think everybody should see it once. It's quite fun. I'm sure you can find it on YouTube, but it, it's better in person. Oh, it's always better in person. Yeah. You know, like we put a video up of the uh, riding Space Mountain with the lights on. And oh, I was yeah. like, oh, my gosh, I would love to do that. And it was cool because I got to put it in the big screen and get real close to it. It felt like I was there, but I really would have rather ridden it. <laughs> my wife's like, right. no, never happened. Right. Like, you'd rather drive through the dark? She's like, yeah. I'm like, you're weird. Uh, hey guys, new reserved illuminations viewing area is in place for Epcot for guests with theme park extra, oh. extra premium and premiere. 
and uh, special. As recently announced, guests staying at concierge level and other select rooms at Walt Disney World Resorts now are able to purchase purchase a new theme park extra that includes additional fast pass benefits and preferred preferred <laughs> preferred viewing opportunities for nighttime spectaculars. At Epcot, guests who purchase this new park extra uh, and choose to use the reserve viewing for illuminations, reflections of Earth, uh, will be directed to the Germany waterfront area to enjoy the show. The regular Fast Pass Plus viewing area for day guests will continue to be located at World Showcase Plaza. In addition, the check-in and viewing location for Frozen Ever After Dessert Party uh, guests is in the Mexico side of World Showcase Plaza on the west side of the Disney Trader Store. Right. We have a graphic up on Facebook showing them. Do we now? Yes. Where Excellent. The, where these uh, locations are. So the Germany Pavilion... That will be for the theme park extra guests. And then over by Disney Traders is for Frozen. And then your Fast Pass will be right in the middle. Gotcha. Yep. So this used to be, I believe, for like dessert parties. So I don't know what they're going to do when they need that for dessert parties. No, dessert party is where the Fast Pass viewing area is. No, uh, private dessert parties. Oh, sorry. There was France. And then I thought... this. Maybe it was more towards Italy. The area Italy. in front of Italy. Yeah, yeah Italy. So maybe. Is Italy. So, maybe that. so France and Italy are the only two places left. This is now. Yeah. Gonzo. Well, it seems to me, it's call me crazy, mm-hmm. but it seems to me that if you're paying for it, you should have the premium spot, which is where the fast pass viewing yeah, area sure. is. Seems kind of a little bit of a rip. Yeah. Uh, but hey, you know, what do I know? All right. Uh, that's great. Yeah. You know. More power to you. Yep. All right, so... Uh, oh, I think we spoke about this last week. Which one? The Reunion Station. Did we not? Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll skip that. Okay. You want to do the next one anyway? Absolutely. Uh, reservations are now open for Tiffin Talks at the an- uh, to celebrate the Animal Kingdom's 20th anniversary. It's been 20 years already. And really only four years of that Yeti working. And I've probably only been there about six times. <laughs> We've been keeping you up to date with the uh, 20th anniversary celebrations at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And we have a new event to share just with you. Uh, Tiffin Talks will be a special hard-ticketed event with dining offerings that will take place April 22nd through May 5th of 2018 you will have an an intimate dining experience that allows you to try specialty food and beverages accompanied by animal and conservation expert speakers i wonder if this is going to be in the club 33 area Hmm. probably it will also feature uh someone who had a hand in creating disney's animal kingdom uh as we know and love it today now i'm not guaranteeing i don't think they're guaranteeing he's going to be here at every one of them no he's doing his own right uh, speakers, this is, I love how Disney worded this. Speakers of this event may include, mm. uh, Joseph Soltis, research scientist for Disney's Animal Science and Environment, Jason Fisher, conservation program manager for Disney's Animal Sciences and Environment, Rachel, uh, Denault, uh, zoological manager at Disney's Animal Kingdom for the primate and carnivore team, Dr. Ann Savage, conservation director for Disney's Animal Science and Environment, Dr. Scott Terrell, uh, Director of Animal and Science Operations for Walt Disney Parks and Resort, and some guy by the name of Joe Rahad 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 Joe Rod, uh, Portfolio Joe Yeti Joe Yeti <laughs> Joe Rody, who is the Portfolio and Creative Executive. Uh, now, before you get excited, yeah, shockingly, this event has sold out. Right. So. Well, no, just Joe's event. Not no all Joe Rody for just, you. Yeah. yeah, just Joe's event. Yeah. Tiffin Talks would be a separately priced event, and we'll... <laughs> I had a hard time with this last week, too. Tiffin Talks would be a separate priced event, and is going to be $165 per person with tax and gratuity included, and will begin at 5.30 p.m. Admission to Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park is not included in this price. Right. Speakers are subject to change without notice, but either way... 
we think you're in for a treat with a special event. You can book this online by calling 407-WDW-DINE. Now, here's the funny thing. Mm-hmm. Would you pay $165 to have dinner and listen to Joe Rody speak? No. Really? No. Okay. He's not that compelling. Now, would you would you pay $165 to hear any of these other people speak? No. If I was going to pay $165, it would be to listen to Joe speak. Correct. Any of the other people. I, 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 uh, I'm trying to think of, uh, oh, gosh, uh, she's the ambassador for the park. Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall. Her, I would possibly uh, go listen to. Oh, she's a legend, of course. Yeah. I would, too. Yeah. So, Joe and Jane, yes. Uh, uh, Joseph, Jason, Rachel, and, and Scott, no. Yeah, no. So, no offense to those people. Yeah, sure You're did. fine people. Yeah. But to be brutally honest, I mean, Joe Rody is the draw. I mean, he's mm. Joe friggin' Rody. I mean, unless... He's Joe Yeti. No, I'm sure. No, he's not. Uh, all these people are fascinating, and their stories are incredible. But that's 165 bucks per person. Uh, you know, I mean, it just this seems a little pricey. I mean, I, I would think they would get that easily for for Joe. Yeah. But these other people, that's a hard pitch for me. Yeah. I, you know, I maybe I'm just a maybe I'm a snob, but yeah. you know. I don't mean to be a snob, but I am, I guess. They'd have to be talking about something that you're really passionate or if interested I'm, if in. If I'm jack up about primates yeah. and uh, carnivores, mm. I'm signing up for that young lady's class. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, we we kind of spoke about this already a little bit, I think, last week. Uh, the Typhoon Lagoon is getting an event. Uh, it's going to be after hours. It's going to be a hard ticket event. So if you've ever been wanted to be at the water park at night because they all close at sunset... Uh, now is your chance. So, happening select nights, June 21st through August 11th, uh, Typhoon Lagoon After Hours event will allow guests to enjoy all of the Disney Water Park has to offer under the moonlights. And we went to one of those last yeah, year. We it went to the DVC great. one, yeah. Yeah, we, it was great. Yeah. I got Tony in his shorts <laughs> into the drink. It was awesome. <laughs> Yeah. We had a good time. It was a good time. Yeah. Uh, tickets are expected to cost uh, $55 for adults and 50 bucks for kids. The event will run uh, on the select nights from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Mm. So it's really not all night. I mean, Disney, come on. Right. It's just a couple hours. Okay. Uh, for those of you who were are looking forward to what's coming next to the Cirque du Soleil building, uh, permits have recently been filed that may hint to a time frame. Uh, last year, it was announced that Cirque du Soleil, uh, Lanuba, or as President George W. Bush would say, Lanuber, uh, is developing a uh, new show at Disney Springs. The new show will, quote, pay homage to Disney's rich history, history of animation with a vivid story told in a way that only Cirque du Soleil can deliver, end quote. And while the opening date's not really officially been announced yet, a notice of commencement filed recently in the Orange County Comptroller might give us a short idea what the opening time frame might look like. So, notices of the commencement uh, typically expire one year after filing, unless another date is specifically noted. The permit expires on January 30th of 2020, and while that is almost certainly not the exact opening date, it's unlikely that the new show will debut before that time when more details are released. And uh, as soon as we know, you will you know. know. So they are doing some extensive interior work. Probably. And they're going to be doing in the new show. They have to develop the show. They have to train, you know, hire the people, train them. New rigging, new, new lighting. New rigging, new lighting, new all that yeah, stuff. Safety so, stuff they do. Yeah, so we're going to go for 18, 19. We're going to go for two years. Yeah. They may even reconfigure the stage and the seats. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they will. You know, we play some carpeting. So that that building's going to be, quote-unquote, shuttered yeah. for two solid years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe the NBA experience will open up before then. Oh, could it, please? <laughs> I can't wait for that NBA experience. Yeah, hey, I can. I think uh, Pixar is taking over uh, Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Uh, they got Pixar Fest. They got the Pixar Firework. They got so much Pixar stuff happening out west. It's kind of crazy. But that's not it. They got the icing on the cake now. Mm-hmm. So the Disneyland Hotel is now offering 
new Pixar room packages. Complete immersive experience. Yeah, come on. The Disneyland Resort has released a new Pixar-themed hotel package that includes some fun Pixar gifts and reserve viewing for popular parades. Mm -hmm. So if you're willing to pay, you'll get a good view. Guests must book a two-day or longer package, including theme park tickets at the Disneyland Hotel or Disney's Grand California Hotel Spa to be eligible for the Pixar Fest themed packages. The room will be decorated with Pixar themed door banner, balloons, a Pixar blanket, and a limited edition Pixar Fest print. Guests will also get reserved viewing for Paint the Night Parade at Disney's California Venture. This special room offer is good on select Sunday through Thursday nights from April 15th to June 14th. The offer is not good at Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel, and the package must include a two to five day Disneyland Resort ticket for each registered guest. Other restrictions may apply. Pixar Fest uh, featuring, uh, featuring Pixar themed entertainment in both theme parks begins April 13th and continues all summer long. I'm telling you, man, they're going to squeeze every bit of that. Yeah. Uh, I think this is cool. Yeah, I, cool we just that. posted on the blog today. They yeah. they released some uh, costumes, new costumes for the Pixar Fest. Right, cool, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Disney Vacation Club members, if Gary, you, if you want to honor moms, uh, your moms on Mother's Day, Disney Vacation Club has got a brunch just for you. You can celebrate Mother's Day with a Mother's Day brunch on Sunday, May thirteenth, twenty eighteen. Uh, you can also celebrate. Uh, uh, Park Hopper John and Sid's uh, wedding anniversary. On Mother's Day? Uh, yeah, May 13th. Yeah, yeah, nice. Crazy. Disney Vacation Club honors some of our favorite members with a members-only Mother's Day brunch inside of Alice's Wonderland. Surround yourself with magic on this dream-come-true party honoring mothers. From topsy-turvy tea parties to heartwarming stories and activities gra graced with a bit of madness, this is a moment the whole family will remember. Take pictures with your favorite Alice in Wonderland characters and enjoy the whimsical decor at our delicious Mother's Day brunch, celebrating mothers and children of all ages. It's Mother's Day. You don't have to celebrate kids on Mother's Day. Yeah. Celebrate mothers. Right. For crying out loud, Disney, get it right. The celebration will be held in the Fantasia Ballroom at Disney's Contemporary Resort in Walt Disney World from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Get in. Get, Get out. out. And go spend more money. That's right. Pricing, the adult price is fifty seven ninety five plus tax and gratuity wow. per adult and thirty two ninety five plus tax and gratuity for children. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure that the children's price is for nine and younger. Yeah. If I had to guess. Reservations are required. Members can book starting today through uh, Monday, May 6, 2018 by calling member services at 800-800-9800. Mm -hmm. uh, full payment is required at the time of booking with a credit card guarantee. Uh, cancellations must be made 48 hours in advance to avoid surrendering the full payment. To cancel, call member services at 800-800-9800. Yeah, that's good. You going? Uh, no. Uh, me neither. I'm not yeah. a member. Yeah, my mom would not be here. Uh, no word on if it's sold out. There's a question on yeah. the, uh, the the. No, chat I think room. that was for something else oh, yeah. earlier. I don't know if that's sold yeah. out or not. Um, shamefully, uh, Disney has changed the Pirates of uh, Caribbean. We want the redhead. And she's gone. Uh, the new pirate attraction opened today. I've seen video now and audio. She's gone? She's gone, gone, gone? Yeah. Well, I think the redhead's there, but the auction sign is changed. So does she have a gun now? She's. I think so. Yeah. Or oh, somebody's got a gun. Um, <laughs> so guess has got a gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guess we'll be introduced to a new version uh, starting today at the attractions auction scene, uh, which we announced last summer. Just as Walt Disney embraced and encouraged uh, Disney parks to keep moving forward. Since the opening day of Disneyland in 1955, Walt Disney's Imagineering has introduced many new characters at the Pirate of the Caribbean over the years. I'm not sure what many are. 
Yeah, and I'm not sure this is kind of what they meant, but... Uh, right. right. Uh, the pirate auctioneer now oversees a sale of the townspeople's most prized possessions and goods in the scene. Uh, the familiar redhead figure has switched sides to become a pirate named Red, who's just pillaged the town's rum supply and has something to say about it. So, I, I've seen it. It's... <laughs> I got something the, to say. I, I don't think there was anything wrong with the other one. And I'm not condoning or saying that, you know, slavery or selling people was great, but I, that's what pirates did back then, probably, you know? Right. You know, they pillaged and plundered. <laughs> right. You know, as the song says. Right. Uh, I don't know. It's in it. To, have you seen the scene yet? There's a guy carrying, like, a grandfather clock. I literally a, am watching it right now. Yeah, there's a woman with a gun. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep, she's holding a handgun. I I just think it's horrible. See, this mm, nothing. I don't want to get in this conversation. <laughs> this is what happens. You make a subtle change. Disney didn't know that two weeks ago there would be a horrible gun tragedy, mm-hmm. and now they literally are arming people inside of the Pirates of the Caribbean. With guns. You just make a, make a silly decision. Right. Uh, I don't know how many people were complaining about the original scene. Probably none. I, I don't know how many people were complaining about it. But if it was that big of a deal, then they just should have done something completely different. Right. You know, so, you know, they did what they did. Congratulations, Disney. Yep. Uh, so, what's the date today, T? 19th. Of what? March. It's March 19th. So, guess mm. what? Tickets are on sale for Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party and Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party at the Magic Kingdom. This year, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party will transform the Magic Kingdom Park for a sweet 34 nights. They keep bumping that, and they they? don't do consecutive nights either, kids. Nope. So, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party dates are August, and we'll have all these on the blog. Yeah, Yeah, we'll put them on. August 17, 24, 28, 31. So, basically, it's like one a week, one every few days. And then uh, September 3, 7, 9, 11. 14, 16, 18, 21, 23, 25, 28, 30. Do I need to read all these dates? No. Uh, and then uh, every three days, basically, in October. Right. <laughs> uh, returning treats include the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular stage show, uh, Cinderella Castle, uh, featuring the mischievous Sanders, mischievous Sanderson sisters from the hit Disney film Hocus Pocus, uh, Mickey's Booty You Halloween Parade, and Happy Hallowishes. Uh, the full spectacular led by the infamous Disney villains. Did the price go up on this? I think a couple bucks. Why did the price go up on this and nothing has changed? The candy got more expensive. Right. <laughs> Mickey's Nelson Scarlet Halloween Party tickets start at $75 in advance or $85 at the gate, if available. Mm-hmm. Uh, when uh, the seasons change, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party will transform the Magic Kingdom into a winter wonderland for the most magical 22 days of the year. Wow. Uh, the dates begin on November 8th and go through November uh, every couple of days, and they go in December, and the, uh, they start on December 2nd, and they end on the 21st. Uh, returning favorites to the holiday include Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade, Hallow, uh, excuse me, Holiday Wishes, the firework show, mm-hmm. a frozen holiday wish featuring Queen Elsa using her incredible powers to present a gift to everyone in the kingdom, mm-hmm. transforming Cinderella Castle into the sparkling icy centerpiece of the celebration, and the jubilant show Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration. Right. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is more popular than the Halloween party, mm-hmm. apparently, because these tickets start at $95 in advance or... One hundred and five day uh, dollars at the gate, if available. Wow. Guests can purchase special event tickets by calling four zero seven nine three nine one eight seven nine. Now we're. I'm going to say this again. Cancel my idea about going. To the I'm going to say party. this again when we start talking about the parking here in about five minutes. Mm-hmm. But when you pay a hundred and five dollars to get into the park, which that's. That's a peak season, so you're actually paying what a hundred and a buck and a quarter.